very warm welcome to Bharata first time Frank Rausen Pereira this is FRP explained since you're here please like the video subscribe hit the bell icon and all notifications so that you don't miss any updates from Bharata first and don't forget to share the content as well so that it reaches as many people as possible there was a very shocking incident that took place last week of course there are many incidents that take place like this and uh, it's really sad to see them happening but still, I've decided to speak about it today because I want to send out a larger message to the society. A 28-year-old woman who was uh, living in with her partner in Kollam district in Kerala. Kollam district is one of the southernmost districts of uh, mainland India. And uh, she was set on fire and she passed away a couple of days later. This incident took place on Tuesday and the woman... 28-year-old uh, Atira passed away on the on Thursday. Now, what was the reason why this happened? It was for an Instagram video or an Instagram reel. The woman wanted to post a video on Instagram, but the man did not want her to do so. And an altercation then took place between the two of them. The man, Shah Nawaz, doused the woman with kerosene and set her on fire and tried to kill himself as well. All this while their little infant of three to six months old was present in that very same house. The two of them, the couple were rushed to the hospital and the woman later on succumbed to her burns and injuries. The man is still in hospital with 40% burns. Now the police have registered a case and the matter is being investigated into. So for right now, I will say that this man allegedly set the woman on fire. Shocking, isn't it? All because of an Instagram post. She wanted to put up something on Instagram. He did not want her to. And this is what it came down to. Social media is creating a lot of problems for all of us. Even an interview that I did with the former DGP of Uttar Pradesh, a very emotional and a very the best interview that I've ever done. For those of you who haven't watched it, please go and watch it. It will make your day. And for those of you who have already watched it, you know about how Dr. Vikram Singh as well is talking about what evils social media causes. And he has asked youngsters to stay away from social media. I'm not asking you to stay away from social media. We are in the age of social media and this generation is native to technology. It becomes difficult to stay away from technology and stay away from social media. But at least have the sense of mind to not let social media overtake your life. You be in control of your life rather than social media being in control of your life. So much of negativity is passed around on social media. I've made a video on this earlier as well, but at the cost of repeating myself, I'm going to say it again. Where do you think all this negative energy is going to go? It's all around us. It's playing on our minds subconsciously. It is affecting us. It has an impact on everything that we do or don't do in our real life as well. It has become very easy for people to take a pseudonym, cover their faces now and spoo so much of venom on social media that is creating a lot of negative energy and the negative energy that it creates is going to stay with you it's going to pass on to somebody else as well so all I'm saying is don't let social media control you you be in control of your lives otherwise this is what it is going to lead to something that is said in Pakistan has an impact here in India something that is said thousands of miles away has an impact someplace else that is the power of social media of course social media has brought about a lot of good as well look at the pandemic itself during the second wave of the pandemic we saw several people take to social media twitter and other platforms and really mobilize support for each other and provide help for those who are in dire need for these aspects social media is fantastic but the moment you start getting negative, the moment you start spreading, spreading hate, the moment you start 
you know, bringing out venomous content on social media, it takes an all new dimension and that dimension is uncontrollable because what negativity leads to is rage, anger, and it is very difficult to control these emotions. So all I'm asking of you is to control your emotions, use social media proactively and productively and don't get into this kind of negativity. Let us all work together to build a better society and it is each one's of us responsibility to do that. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of FRP Explains. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications. For those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution, you may do so by using our UPI IDs. For, th for those who do not want to use UPI IDs or find it difficult using UPI IDs, there is a link, a payment link in the description below. You may click that and make a contribution. A small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content. So do come forward and show your love and support because I need it now more so than ever. That's it from me. See you again next time.